Welcome to the world of Know Your Times Table. Today, with Sam, we're going to do the seven times table. Have you done the seven times table at school yet, Sam? No, I haven't. All right, well, we'll have a go. Seven's out of the box. Okay. Now, if you give me a lift to, to set these out, if you put a seven on every strip between the times and the equal sign, that's good. I'll give you a lift now, well done. Thanks. Need two more. Okay. Brilliant. Right. Okay, now what we'll do now, we'll spread all the answers out here. These are all the answers to the seven times table. They're all in single digits, as There's you can not much see. There. Now, is there any of the seven times table that you know already? I know you haven't done it at school, but is there I any know of the seven 10, times? 10, 11, yeah. I know one and two. Right, well, let's start to put the easy ones in first. So, get the easy ones in first. Good. Yeah. That's right. You probably know this one as well. I do, I'm going to put that in. Seven. Good. And I'm going to put in... This one's an easy one too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Five. Yeah, that's the five times table if you turn it around, isn't it? Yeah. Which you should know anyway. Good. Come okay. on, some more easy ones and then we'll start working the hard ones out then. Um, how many times shall I do? Pick one that you may know. If not, we'll have to start adding seven on so that you get the answers. Which one? Good. All right. Okay. Now they're getting a bit more difficult. Usually these are the more difficult ones here, so you'll have to start adding seven one. on. This is an easy one. And 28. Yes. Right. Okay, shuffle the digits down so you can see them. Well done, good. Um. Well done. That's another one right here. Yeah. I'll try this one then. Right, okay, that's the last one. That'll be the biggest number in the seven times table. Oh. Yeah, well done. Now you've only two left in the middle to put on. Yeah. And then we can start. So I think that would be 53? Yeah. Mm, yeah. No. No? No, thank no. you. If you add seven to there, yeah. you're going to get... And then we go... No, if you add seven to this one, you're going to get... 56. 56. That's it. And that's 63. Better. Good. Now Perfect. Well, that's complete. All the answers are in the right mm. places. And now we start to actually learn the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to study the top four. If you top can four. study the top four and look at those first. Memorise them, get them in the head. I know those there are, two, so I don't have to get them really There are some easy ones, yeah. So it's 21, just these two. 21, and when you're ready, got it. I will take these off. Okay. Keep concentrating all the time. I'm now going to shuffle these. Mix them up. And you're going to put them back in the right position. Okay. It's very important when you put them back in the right position to realise that one might be an inside number or one could be an outside, outside number. Outside, yeah. So be very careful because if you put it in the wrong place, what we do then is start again. I'll shuffle, take them up and start again and shuffle okay. them. So all your good work will be ruined then. So concentrate yeah. really well. So okay. if we're here, all the table have to go. Well, yeah, we're just going to do this top section at the, the moment. So okay. just do these first. Seven, that's So be very one. careful. One. Um, yeah. Eight. Okay. Take your time. Concentrate Number. all the time. Well done, you're doing well with this. It's very easy for me. Isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Eight. Okay, now that's the top section complete. What we do now 
we've got to concentrate on the middle four. section. So I'd like to look at the middle four. These next four. 42, 49, 56. Concentrate well. Have, get little tricks yourself of, you know there's two that begin with 40. If you get in trouble with that when you turn it round, you know that it's seven times five, which is the five times yeah. so, which is easy. That's a difficult one that trips a lot of people up. So maybe you need to concentrate on that a little bit more. But have a look at all four and really concentrate and get those in your head. And then when you've had a minute, I'll take those off and do the same as we did on the top. Okay. All right, are you ready? So do exactly the same. So keep concentrating all the time. You're doing very well so far. Right. So Sam, concentrate now. You're going to do these middle four. All right, take the top card. Off you go. Concentrate all the time. Okay, good. That's a good start. Now that doesn't end with a five, be careful. Seven eights are not something five. Seven eights are, can you remember what seven eights are? Look at the, look at the strips. Yeah. Well, I've got to take that back. It's not, it, it, it's not on the outside of the strip. So I'll take that back, put it on the underside. So carry on with the next top card. Okay, now you realize that that was a fiver on there. So well done. Keep going now, you're doing well. Well done, that was an outside number, well placed. That's a six. Mm. Try and remember where it was rather than work it out. Well gone. Well done, that is good. Right, okay, you remember that very well because that is a tricky one. Right, keep going, you're doing well now. Well done. Brilliant. You got yourself out of trouble there because you got in a bit of a mix there and you, you did very well to sort that out. You've got to remember, of course, that after a 40, the first number's bound to be a 50. Yeah. So you never have your 5 at the end. It would be a 50 starting yeah. there. So 56 is your answer. It goes, okay. It goes up like 7, 1, 2, 2, 3, well, it does, 4, yes. 4, 5, yeah. 6, 7, eight. The 10's number has got to increase, yeah. hasn't it, as it goes on. Yeah, well done. Now I want you to look at the whole of the table now, all of the table, because what I'm going to do now, when you've had a look at the table, is going to take all the cards off and shuffle them and make one big pile, and then you've got to put them back, which seems hard, but it's not that hard because you'll have a choice of where to put it. Look how many twos you've got. If you get a two, you've got lots of places to put it. Look how many sevens there are. So have a look at them all, especially this middle section that gave me a bit of trouble. Look at the middle section and concentrate on that. The easy ones you know, you're okay with those, just forget about those. Yeah. So have a couple of minutes then I'll take all of them off. Look, always read the sum that goes with the answer, that's important. Look at the harder ones, don't look at bother with the easy ones, you already know those. The ones that could give you trouble. Okay, do you want to give it a try? Okay. Well done, you're doing very well because this seven times table is a new table to you. Yeah. You haven't done this at school yet, maybe you'll yeah. be doing it next year, but it's a hard table, this sevens. So you keep concentrating all the time. I'm going to shuffle these very well now. All right, shuffle these well, and then you take the top card. I will tell you if you make a mistake, and then we'll put the bottom card, the bad card, at the bottom of the pack, and then continue. Okay, right. It's a four. That's a good start. You're off now. Keep your concentration. Just look. Six. Well done.
Ja. Se, no da nam skor. Careful with this one. If a child is struggling at this point, you can always give them a hint by saying it's an inside or an outside number. And Sam is struggling a little, so I might give you a hint and say this is an outside number. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, that is the wrong answer. Oh. Three sevens are not 23. They are 21, I'm going to yeah. tell you the answer. So the three will come off and go to the bottom of the pack. Okay. All right, so start again, realising that you made a mistake there before. Yeah. And remember when you get the three again, that I already gave you a clue that it was an outside number. So it should go somewhere else. Yeah. So keep concentrating, go on, you're doing very well. It is it two. Again, this is going to be an outside number outside. sound. Yeah, so think carefully, I've given you a bit of a clue. Right, okay, well done. Keep going now, you're doing well. Get your concentration back again. Well done, well remembered. Oh, it's a five. It's a four. Last number yeah. on the table. Four. You're doing well now, you're... Uh, getting these answers nicely. Now keep concentration, don't mess it up now. Keep concentrating all the time. Eight. Stop. Now that's the wrong answer. Seven sevens are not 48. It's close, but it's not 48. So that eight is the wrong card. So I'm gonna put it back in the pack and realize your mistake. It goes Ooh. somewhere else. Yes. So when you come to seven sevens again, you know it's not eight. I know now. So if you know the right answer, keep it in your head and remember for the next time. So that's going to the bottom of the pack. So in the second mistake you made, you're doing very well. Now go on, okay. keep going, keep your concentration again. Seven. This could go up here. Well done. That's an easy one to get by, isn't it? It's a seven. It can go there. It's a four. This could go... There. Well done, well remembered. To one. I remember now from Yes, 21. you remember the mistake you made before. Good, well done. Six. You're back on track again now, you're doing well. That's it, try and remember logically where it went rather than work it out again. I will give you another clue, I'll be kind to you, it's an outside number. Outside. 